Hey, it's Summo Guide Coding again today, and remember when we talked about this uh, keyboard from the uh, PV DMP C8 or DPM C8 rather? Well, I got some schematics finally. I looked all over the web for these and searched high and low, and all I could find is uh, some that uh, this gentleman wanted to sell. So I'm sure this is just another duplicate copy, and he continues to sell them, I'm sure. But uh, in any case, what I need is this little guy right here. It tells me about um, the connector on that keyboard. So let's zoom in on that a little bit here. Maybe try pressing the other way. There we go. Well, focus. There, I think we can see it there. Yeah. So, um, so here it is. Uh, it saves me from. Uh, it was worth the money just in saving me from having to fish around. It's probably about seventeen dollars uh, plus, including the shipping and everything, to get this guy. Which seems a lot of money for a copy, but you know, still, it's uh, it's going to save me a lot of time to have these values here. Yeah, at least even just knowing the ones that aren't connected, <laughs> it's going to be a helpful one. So it looks like we have one, two, three. Well, let's look at the numbers. The send lines start at zero right there. It's send T0 and send B0. So that must be the top and the bottom. And uh, it goes all the way up to 10. Hmm. And then, so there's 20 sends all together. I wonder if these, no, they couldn't be. And then uh, there's uh, eight returns. So you could read that with a byte easily. But then you need to somehow generate the uh, 20 send signals. So um, four, four bits, you can make a 16 pattern. So um, five bits would be 32. So you need five bits and, uh, uh, you know, a, a mux or a demux to... Um, uh, set all these individually. I wonder if you can, you, yeah, because you, if each one of these could send back its own eight set, set of eight, then, um, yeah, you're going to have to scan them all individually. And hopefully we can scan and read and scan and read fast enough and process fast enough that it will make a, uh, a usable keyboard. Yeah, you never know. So that's something we're going to look at, we're going to experiment with coming up. I've got some parts in, on order for um, uh, muxing or demuxing uh, uh, data in and out, so we'll see. Thanks for watching. Just an update.